Greetings from Olympia. Well, we're about halfway through our legislative session, and so there are things happening here in Olympia, and I wanted to bring you up to date with a very important topic, and that is about reinventing foster care. Foster care is about making sure every child has a chance. I'm proud to be working with Democrats and Republicans in the House and Senate to reinvent foster care to do a better job when a child needs us most. We need to do a better job because the system is in crisis. There's high turnover among social workers who make foster care work and fewer foster homes available in our state. To fix the system, we're considering six reforms. I'd like to briefly touch on three of them. The first is creating a Department of Child, Youth, and Family. In fact, just today we passed this bill. House Bill 1661 would remove those functions from the giant agency known as Social and Health Services. A smaller agency focused entirely on children and families would do a better job for foster kids. The second reform, Senate Bill 5241, let school districts waive courses and give partial credit to students who become homeless or move to another school. Frequently switching schools is a common problem for foster children. The third reform is House Bill 1867, which I wrote to give every foster child a real opportunity to succeed in school and in life. The old way of doing things was to cut foster kids off from services at the age of 18. Today, we know from research that doesn't work. Foster kids already have it tough. Nationally, only 58% graduate from high school by age 19. By the age of 24, only half are employed. Fewer than 2% will earn a college degree by age 25. It's our duty as a state to take care of these young men and women. The legislation extends the age limit for foster youth services and puts a special focus on housing. Making sure foster youth have a safe place to live is crucial, not just for their success in life, it's critical for their success in high school and college. Because it's pretty hard to do homework when you don't have a home. And these young men and women deserve a safe home. Well, thank you for the opportunity to update you on things happening in Olympia. I hope to be back visiting with you again in a couple of weeks, and be sure to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.